Welcome back. Morning, everyone. You find us this morning halfway on our way up to the Alatesh, I think that's how you say it, glacier. We're in a little town called Better Melp. We've been on a cable car this morning and I have had, had my morning dose of adrenaline, that's for sure. <laughs> I was a bit gutted because it was uh, it was a bigger than there was plenty of people in it, so I couldn't scare the bejesus out of it. I was there. glad. Honestly, I'm still <laughs> gripping the walls. They scare me yeah. so much, I don't know why. But, uh, but yeah, I've never looked forward to a holiday so much, uh, what we're going to do this winter when we come to a ski resort like this, because I've never been to anything like this before. No, And, it's... yeah, just like, they, they, when we were down at the bottom, they were showing two maps. One of the map now, of what it is like now, and there's mountain biking, there's uh, some lakes here, yeah. some kayaking and things like that. But then come winter, it's a full winter playground with half pipes, sledding, cross country, yeah, cross country yeah. skiing, like just absolutely everything. So and it's everything you imagine an alpine like holiday place to yeah. be. There's all the wooden shallows, there's the cows with the bells, and yeah, yeah it's incredible. So uh, whew, deep breath, next cake. <laughs> Tell you what, this is what I find interesting about places like this. Look at that skip. Look at the size of it. Lovely little dinky little thing. Look, hold no, that, hold no, that. No, John, no. Nobody show, wants to see your boring skin. Show the size of it. Look, show them. Oh my God. Look I apologise, everyone. We said we were making quality content. John's showing you a bin. Little roll off, roll off, roll on, roll off bin. I want to see what vehicle pulls it up. Now this is worth showing you. Check out this little beauty. Not many places she wouldn't get you, eh? And I reckon you could turn her into a sick camper. Box on the back for your old pull-out kitchen and bits and bobs. Rooftop tent, jobs are good. I found it. I found the car that puts the skips on. Look at her. So she's a little demountable body on the back, look. So that comes off and the skip comes on. What a beauty. I apologize, everybody. I hope you enjoy this content, by the way. We're on our own. So you know what that means? It means you rock it. You walk home. We can get rocking then. No. <laughs> Not happening. Isn't it weird how this doesn't scare me, but the skywalk does? And but then this terrifies me. But then Jessica do the skywalk. Yeah. I get a bit like wobbly legged, just a bit disorientated almost. Bizarre, isn't it? Yeah. Really crazy. Should we rock it? <laughs> John. No. Alright. Give it a rest. Welcome to the Alatesh Glacier. I'm not that impressed really. I think my skip's more interesting than this. Loser. So, the Alatesh Glacier is the largest glacier in Europe. It's 20 kilometres long, 1.8 kilometres wide and 800 metres deep. You're not impressed by that? Piece of ice that big? It's pretty cool, I'll give you that. Yeah. They reckon, right, if it was to melt, it could supply every single person on Earth with a litre of drinking water for three and a half years. That's how much water is there. Wild. Pretty impressive. Yeah. John's doing a draining. So there's only one thing for me to do. Let's make a snowman. So now how they say most great artists weren't appreciated in their time. Are you ready for the reveal of this masterpiece? Ta-da! Oh, that's freezing on my butt. What are you doing? Making a snowman. Look how beautiful he is. If I'm honest. It's because I couldn't feel my fingers. I think there's only one thing to do. Whoa, no, 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 no! No! <laughs> that is it, it is on. In my pockets, you've Please got it in my record. pockets. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. I'm going to be all wet now. See, I told you we could climb Everest, look. Jesus, help me. <laughs> this is epic, this is. Although I'm not sure we're going the right way. Woo! That's a nice bath, love. Get in it. You couldn't pay me. <laughs> <laughs> How much? One million dollars. <laughs> as long as I can do. <laughs> that is cold. I tell you what. Look, it's ice. It, well, it's ice water, isn't it? Oh, it'd be fresh to drink, though. Well, I have to admit, Jess, it is pretty impressive anyway. Yeah, it is. 
Although the weather's not too impressive. <laughs> no, but we're prepared this time. Yes. And we thought if we get everything on, hopefully it won't rain too much anyway. Too much, yeah. So we've got a three hour hike from Betham Horn, I think that's how you say it, which is the top bit where you can see the glacier, all the way down to where we met you in the beginning, which is the town in the middle, and then you get the, the cable car down. You can go up and down, but we thought it'd be nice to have a walk and see the scenes. Yeah. And oh, so excited. We saw a marmot on the way up. It was oh, so yeah. fluffy. I couldn't get him for you. He was too far away in the cable car. So I'm desperately hoping we see someone on the way down. I want to wander out of the valley Where the river takes us far away from home Time to ponder in the fields around me Found a lovely little spot on this rock. You know what I thought? This would be a lovely spot for a snack. But oh wait, we don't have any snacks. Because John was like, no, 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 let's be healthy. Let's not bring any snacks. You're not going on by any chance here, Jess, about food. <sighs> He's not my friend today. So Jess isn't best at uh, walking down trails like this. And she just said to me, oh, John, it's so hard because I don't want to die, but I don't want to miss a marmot. Yeah, I know, because I have to like pay so much attention to where I walk because I'm so unco. But the marmots are so cute and fluffy, I can't miss them. I think we'll pick uh, living over the marmots, eh? Well, we made it. We made it. We might have taken a wrong route. Which may or may not have been somebody's fault. I might have said, let's go another route. And I might have thought that was the right way, but uh, let's not talk about that, shall let's we? Not, let's not talk about it. Yeah. Um, it was a lovely walk though, wasn't Very it? beautiful, yeah. yeah. Go through all, like the rocky outcrops at the top and then you come down through all the like alpine meadows and everything. It's really yeah. nice. And then you come out at this lake and the lake's got a pontoon, it's got pedalos, barbecue area. So much to do here, isn't there? Oh, it's unbelievable. Like uh, you see loads of people coming down on the downhill mountain biking. Mm. They've got like a little mountain bike track and like a tarmac track for kids yeah. as well, bouncy castles. It's just absolutely everything yeah. here isn't it's there? a proper like outdoor playground whether yeah. it's winter or summer yeah look at the old girl in action look look at her we made some new friends that was incredible that wasn't it <laughs> Like shepherdess lady comes and calls them. She just started hollering, bah, bah. it sounded a bit like Jeff. <laughs> but uh, and then they started like moving back at her and followed her up the hill. They did have a sheepdog though bringing up yeah. the, the slackers. But, but what I find interesting is how the bell, whether they hear that tone, you know I mean, that must be horrible for them constantly to hear yeah, that all day, every day. Bothering. But they seem yeah. pretty happy, don't they? Yeah. I wonder why they do it. We'll have to Google why they wear these yeah. bells. So the bells are so that they don't lose the cows, especially like in these alpine pastures, can it be really hard to see them like if a storm comes in or if they go into a little ravine. And the big cows wear bigger bells and the little cows wear little bells. And apparently it means like the little cows follow the tone of the big bell to know like where their mum is so they don't lose them. It's cute, isn't it? Remember we told you, you've got to drive your lights on in Switzerland. Well you do, but you also need to turn your lights off when you stop. We've got a flat battery. Oh god. Let's hope this little beauty that we got in Australia works, little jump pack. Ready? Yeah, get in you little beauty. Huh? Best hundred dollars we've ever spent. Good old kings. This is officially my favourite place in Switzerland. Come around the corner, there's some gorgeous little ibex on the side of the road, a little family. And then John's like, stop, oh my God, a marmot. Honestly, they're so cute and they're so fluffy. And when they run, their chubby little butts wiggle. Oh, they're amazing. And my favourite little fact about marmots is, when they meet, they rub cheeks and it means that you belong with us. What a lovely little thing, eh? How do you know you've just done a high altitude drive? Your paninis look like a balloon. <laughs> I'm a bit scared to open them to be honest. But check out this for a spot. Isn't it beautiful? 
quite honestly, we were starting to get a bit disenchanted with Switzerland because they say that wild camping is allowed here, but everywhere you go, there's no camping signs. Last night, we found somewhere like out the way on a big low buy, loads of room for other people to come in, not affecting it as a parking place. And we got bibbed about four or five times in the night. I was absolutely knackered when I woke up this morning. And so we were really like fed up with Switzerland, but I don't think you can be when you get a spot like this, eh, boy? Yeah, well, I have to, I think Switzerland's got to be the most beautiful place we've ever been, eh? Ever been. Like, and we were just saying, if you come in winter, it'd be beautiful, but I don't know, because you can see the whole the whole place, I don't know which would be better, really. I, I suppose we'd probably have to come back and then way up the two, but uh, yeah, just incredible. Amazing country, it really is. Good morning everyone. Good morning everybody. Wow, that was very serious. That was very, very sophisticated. Yeah, Good very morning, professional. Yes. Uh, we've had a bit of a slow morning this morning in our nice little quiet spot. Uh, had a bit of breakfast, washed my hair, looking all fresh for you. And we're off to Valle Vesesca this morning. I think that's how you say it anyway. Um, it's supposed to be a really beautiful valley with some lovely rivers running through. We've got a nice drive through the Swiss countryside to start our day. So we've made it to Valle Vesesca and it is really beautiful here. There's an old medieval footbridge called Ponte de Salti, which actually translates to jumping bridge. And when the water's high, you can jump in. I don't think I would ever have the guts for it though. You can also jump in off of the lower rocks. I'm not sure about that though, because the water is from melting snow caps, so it's pretty chilly. However, I think John deserves a bit of payback from the cable car the other day, so I'm not gonna warn him. So this video you're watching now, I'm just actually editing it right now and I'm looking for the clips and the clip that's meant to be in here is me jumping in the water because and going Aah! like a little girl because it's freezing because Jess didn't tell me it was cold but Jess actually deleted the clip I didn't you deleted the clip deleted the clip the old delete a matrix over here just delete happy every time we get these great clips oh delete so pretend I jump in and just shrug it off because Pretend he jumps in and squeals like a little girl. It's cold, but oh well, it's cold. It's no not, biggie. It's not. And then he does that stupid Darth Vader breathing that he did the, last week as well. No biggie. Why do I have to do it? I think I should just get in the because normal bit. Because she didn't tell me it was going to be that cold, so you've got to go in now. Yeah, but that was your payback. Payback. What I did to you the other day weren't as bad as that. John, you freezing. terrified me. Freezing. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to do it. It would probably take me about 15 attempts. I'm not sure about it. Oh my god! Oh it's so cold. It's a bit fresh, isn't it? Are we gonna shake on it and call it quits? No. Definitely not. Come on. No. Shake. I've made it up to you for making you jump into the water. You Shake. still need to make it up for me for terrorising me. What you did then was much worse than what I did you in the cable tile. You weren't even scared. I was petrified. I was... You were not. I was. You I thought not. I was going to die. What a load of rubbish. <laughs> you were just a bit chilly. I thought I was going to die dead. So you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to shake on it. You don't want to call it. A, no, because call you it owe me. You don't want to call he it owes quits. me, everyone, doesn't he? He owes me. Game's still going then. There is no game. The game is apologise to Jess and the sincerely. ball is in my court. You got no ball. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out you can jump in from the bridge when the water's this high. Not for me though. So we've had to come back into the van because there were some kids, young kids, jumping off the bridge and I was a bit worried for them, for their health and safety. So I didn't want to spoil the fun, so we've come back in here. 
Yeah, that's that's not true. Don't tell them. That's not the truth. Tell the truth, John. <laughs> I'm getting old. Like these trips made me feel old for some reason. Like when you see kids doing that, and I'm going bald, and like, all my life I've ripped the baldies, and I think karma's coming back to bite it's me. Got a bit karma. So yeah, I'm feeling a bit middle aged at the minute. So I need to get over That's it. not really it, is it, though, darling? What? You just didn't want to, didn't want to kind of oh, steal yeah. their thunder. That's exactly wanna, what it is, yeah. yeah. yeah I, did, I was going to get out there. I was going to do a backflip off it, actually. Yeah, double backflip. Yeah, but... Yeah. Uh, but you didn't want to didn't want to steal their thunder. No. So, yeah. Yeah. But I think we're done. <laughs> <laughs> In Switzerland. Um, we've only got six weeks for this trip, and we feel like we had a good taste of Switzerland, don't we? Mm. But I think we need to head off to Slovenia. Now, there's something that I've always wanted to do. I'm not being a part of it. I won't be a part of it. It's so corny, but she loves it. I've always wanted to be able to teleport. So, John, go outside. I'm not being part of this. Are you ready? Today, we are in Switzerland. And now we're in Slovenia. We're going white water rafting, which is one of my bucket list things. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm so excited. You're looking good anyway. Friendly, at least. <laughs> Let's go, tiger! Let's go, tigers. Oh, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'll show you how to do it, don't you worry. Look at that, moves of a pro look. Go on, Joyon. You're a pro, Jeff. I'm a pro, baby, I'm a pro. Yeah. Oh, boy, you'd be rubbish at this. What about if I tip you up? Going for the big nasty. I reckon John's going in. Yeah. I'm well impressed with you anyway. Thanks, boy. Smashing it. Look at these guns. Look at that view. Aisha. Oh, I can't. Get the Get, <laughs> Get in there. That's another one off the list for you anyway, Jess. Bloody brilliant that was, honestly. Oh, everything I hoped it would be. Well that was absolutely brilliant. It was gold, isn't it? Oh. And I'll tell you what, we all need to take a moment to give Jess her fair do, eh? Thanks, she was love. impressive. I was well impressed, yeah, Jess, so good, good on you. Thanks, love. Thanks. It was really fun. And for anyone worried about it, like, there was a bit of a rapid and a bit of fun. You got a splash in the face, but it wasn't scary at all. And, like, you got to actually enjoy the scenery as well. I think that's what I really liked. Yeah, about, so. yeah. The bloke wasn't pushy. It was just, yeah, yeah. all round brilliant experience yeah. anyway. So we'll put the link in the description for you if you're interested, but so good. And we have to say, so far, Slovenia, on point. Yeah, well, we only got here last night, late last night. Mm. Uh, so we just had this morning, but uh, first first impressions are good anyway. <laughs> yeah. How are you going to go with this one then, boy? Easy peasy. It's not actually that high. We'll see. How's this replaced, though, eh? Not so sure? No. <laughs> Getting used to this hot stuff. So we found ourselves a nice quiet little private spot down by the river. Water looks beautiful. Gagging for a swim. Well, it, it looks cold. 10 degrees, the guy told us it was this what? morning. 10 degrees. Ready to lose a toe? Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Cold, eh? I'll tell you what, Jessica. What? It's a good job there's no fashion police about, isn't it? I make this look cool. Look <laughs> at the state here. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know I made it back to the old van without getting arrested by the fashion police. But as beautiful as this place is, and the Soka Valley is gorgeous, it does have a really sad tale to tell as well. It was one of the major battlefronts of World War I, and 1.7 million people died here. During that time, Ernest Hemingway was actually a volunteer ambulance driver for the Italians, and his experiences here are what drove him to write the novel A Farewell to Arms. They like a twisty road in Slovenia, don't they? They love a narrow road. Our poor old girl was uh, she's feeling a bit chubby today, isn't she? <laughs> Looks like they're not afraid of a bit of hard work in Slovenia. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't have picked up on camera, but that hill was like that. It yeah. was so steep and he was pushing that machine by hand. Like He was built like a tank and all, like unbelievable. And so they, it looks like they mow the whole thing by hand, I guess because a tractor couldn't manage it, and then drag it down and put it over these railings to dry. The manual labour that would go into that, like hats off to him. hoping to end the video at Lake Bled. That was the plan. Because it's meant to be the most beautiful place in Slovenia, eh? Yeah, it was one of the like most famous parts of Slovenia for sure. But we're not getting to Lake Bled tonight. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> These are some of the most dandiest roads we've ever been on yeah. in our life. In the whole world. Yeah. However, the scenery, like, she's rivaling Switzerland or yeah, Slovenia. Yeah, incredible. Like, just the mountain tops and the trees and like we said before, how green it is. It's yeah. unbelievable. Amazing. And we might not be able to get to Lake Bled tonight to show you that icon of Slovenia, but we have found another icon of Slovenia, which is hilltop churches. So, we'll leave you with that for this week and you'll find us in Lake Bled next week.